10 things you need to know to stop a coup. One, don't expect results on election night. Ballots will come in for days or weeks after election day. Be prepared for confusing weeks and debunked news stories. We need to make sure all votes are counted. Two, we need to call it a coup. If the government stops counting votes, declare someone a winner who actually lost, or allow someone to stay in power who didn't win the election. Three, coups have been stopped by regular people throughout history all over the world. Four, be ready to act quickly and not alone. Talk to five people who would join you in the streets to protest if there is a coup. Five, focus on values, not individuals. We use the language choosing democracy rather than any specific candidates. Six, convince people not to freeze. History tells us that the way people react in the hours and days after a coup attempt will determine whether or not the coup succeeds. We need everyone to take action. Seven, commit to nonviolence. Nonviolent mass resistance and non-cooperation includes strikes, refusing business as usual, and shutting down society until a democratically elected leader is installed. Eight, yes, a coup can happen in the United States. Whenever there is an order to stop counting votes, we call it a coup. Nine, center and calm, not fear. Be a reliable source. Double check rumors and spread only facts. Breathe deeply, play out scenarios, but don't become captured by them. 10, prepare before the election. Vote, volunteer at the polls, urge elected officials to count every vote before a winner is called, and prepare our communities to resist. The best way to stop a coup is never to have one. Are you ready? Sign the pledge at choosedemocracy.us.